Some of you guys remember the Deutz Alice project. And uh, the problem I was having is that I tried to start it last fall. And it's totally dead. There's zero happening. Like this, all the gauges work and everything, but the starter is not turning. It doesn't make any noise or anything like that. Like it's not getting any juice to it. So I just figured I'd check the solenoid because that's probably the easiest place to start. And what I noticed is that I have 12 volts coming from the battery to the solenoid. When I put the key switch in the start position, I have one volt coming out of it. I can hear it click and everything. So I'm going to try to get the solenoid out of this thing. It's kind of buried in here a little bit. Maybe I can bring it inside and bench test it a little better. And then we can verify that that's actually the problem or not. So this thing is really hard to work on. Everything is sandwiched in here. And it's really tight and it's just hairy. So we'll see if I can uh, get that out. But it's a little solenoid and there's maybe some bolts down in here that hold it in. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, this solenoid is ridiculous. So it's got some kind of relay type device on here that's going on to the hot wire. I don't know if there's even like any kind of... There's nothing on there that says any markings or anything. So whatever but that goes to the hot i assume that goes to the key on the back side in some fashion it's got two wires going down here to the bottom a red one and a blue one i assume that the blue one is a ground so it's like a four post solenoid i guess so before i can even take it out of the machine i gotta disconnect all this crap get that crap going on there so it's going to be kind of a bitch to, to test this thing in other words and uh yeah there's another hot wire that's going to the hot terminal there so this is probably some kind of safety circuit with a pto like if you have a mower deck on there or something so let me see if i can unhook that stuff and uh, get this into the bench Okay, let's see if we can test this solenoid. This is some ridiculous wiring here. I'll try to explain it. So you got a four-post solenoid. Ignore that this is red. One of the posts has to go to ground. So I got this clip going from that post down here to ground. I've got my hot wire on my uh, battery charger going to one post up here. This will be my output post, which I have this black wire Go into my voltmeter here on the hot terminal there. Um, I made this little jumper wire that after I plug in the battery charger, I'll hit it to this terminal, and that should ignite or uh, engage the solenoid plunger, and I should get 12 volts over here on my voltmeter or thereabouts. So I got the ground clip from the volt from the battery charger down here on the base, so we'll see what happens okay let's plug this battery charger in and uh, I'm gonna hit it to the post let's see well, it's got 10 volts coming out 10.2 that's probably sufficient well, now I got five I got 5.6, 10, 10, 10 point something, 10.2, Well, maybe it is good, and I just had some bad connections or something like that. I think what I'm going to do is clean up all this metal. Yeah, it's consistently coming out with 10 point something volts. Yeah, there we go. And now the other question is, what is the actual uh, voltage that's like coming out of the charger here? So if I take this and just touch it over here to the hot... Let me see. Let me touch it on here. It 
Come on. So I only have 10.10 .10 volts coming out of my battery charger here to begin with. So it looks like the full output is exiting the solenoid. Let me just double check that. It's hard to get a good connection over here. Yeah, I got 10.10. .10, so it looks to me like the solenoid is functioning properly. Let's unplug the battery charger. So maybe I had a bad connection somewhere, like a bad ground or something. So what I'll do is, um, let me unhook all this garbage here so we can look at this again. But if you look at this base here, there's a lot of rust on here and everything. It's possible that it wasn't getting a good ground. So maybe what I'll do is I'll wire, wheel all that crap and, and put it back together and see if we got any change in uh, how it works, you know. But uh, we'll go from Amazon there. Amazon showed up today. I got my Stens solenoid. That's a replacement for this thing. It's a little bit different. So hopefully I can get the wires to reach. The main difference is that the lugs are 90 degrees off. But I think I can pull them enough to get them to fit. Shouldn't be that big a deal. So let's see uh, what we can do. And this one has like quarter inch terminals on here also instead of just those plugs that slip over it. For now, I'll take those off. And if it doesn't work as is, I'm gonna to go to female quarter inch terminals because I think that the design of these plugs here that just slip on, in my opinion, is very poor. So let's see what we got. Well, the new solenoid's in and I got nothing. So I'm gonna to have to dissect this thing further, try to get to that starter somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna to get to it. I'm going to have to figure out how to get this hood off. I'm going to figure out how to get down beneath that side of the motor because that's where it is. So this black panel here on the side, however that mounts all the way back here, that will have to come off on the other side. The loader might have to come off. Not 100% sure, but the loader is right in the way. So, ugh. 